Rotary is an international organization of over 1.2 million Rotarians across the world, and there's over in over 34,000 uh, clubs in over 200 countries in, in the world. And basically, Rotary is involved in doing good work in the, in the world, uh, humanitarian work. The Rotary Club in Kenora is very active with uh, the, the high schools and, and youth. We have an Interact Club, which is composed of students from grade 7 to grade 12. And they're also involved in, in doing humanitarian work. They have their tent outside, and they're raising money for Shelterbox. Uh, we also have youth programs where they attend uh, a RILA camp, which is a youth leadership camp in, in uh, Clear Lake, Manitoba. Uh, we also have Model United Nations that our students participate in in Winnipeg, and they basically follow the same protocol as, uh, as a regular United Nations uh, uh, agenda would be. Uh, uh, our number one project in, in, in Kenora right now is raising money uh, to build the Splash Park in Norman Park. The Rotary Club of Kenora is hosting the conference this year and we get to host the conference because the district governor is out of the Rotary Club of Kenora. So Rotarians gain uh, an insight into uh, the good work that Rotary does. We had uh, Ron Burton, he was a uh, a past president for Rotary International, so he was responsible for uh, how Rotary ran uh, two years ago and traveled all over the world and that, uh, started lots of new projects. Uh, we're working very hard on trying to eradicate polio and we're uh, down to three countries now. We're at, uh, we're so close right now to eradicating polio. Uh, we uh, are 99.9% .9 there and uh, hopefully within the next two years uh, uh, polio will be eradicated off the face of the earth and this whole room all the people in this room support that ideal and, and it's kind of exciting that we're this close. The student exchange program is uh, they get students from age 15 uh, to 18 from around the world and uh, we had a student this year uh, from Taiwan and we sent a student, uh, she ended up going to Italy, okay? Uh, so the students don't know where they go, but they have to commit uh, to a year. They get to experience so much in one year. And these kids, uh, they stay in touch with, uh, with their host club for as long as they live. It's, and if we're going to bring peace in the world, the one thing that we've found is that the exchange students are exactly the same as our own kids. Uh, they have uh, an hour and a quarter where they put on a program. Uh, so they'll be up sta uh, on stage. Uh, they will put together uh, a program that they've developed. They've been, every day that they've been at the conference, they've been practicing. For our show we did, the songs and the sketch, everything we did. And then we just talked to a lot of people, met a new people and just enjoyed the whole thing. I like the convent, like people are nice and we have to share table with all the people around. And they just ask us questions about the country and how we like it and people are really like polite and they're interesting about what we say so I really love that. For me living in Thompson we have snow in October to May so that was a big difference from France because usually we have snow in December or February and we don't have snow like that big <laughs> so that was the big difference for me. It's really easy to be with the exchange students because we are in the same situation and we are in new country, new language, new people. So I think so all the exchange students are really close for that reason because we are in the same situation and it's a lot easier to be with all them and even with your families. It's really, really cool meet and like have a new culture. Um, meal all these people, that was, that's really good. I was
was really surprised because I was pretty sure that that would be pretty much the same. But when you arrive, everybody, everything is different. Like the person are different, the food is different. Yet I was surprised too. And uh, we have a lot of snow here, and we have less in Belgium. Uh, there is less rain here. And yes, no, the land is really flat here because I'm in Manitoba. So <laughs> yes, no, everything is really different. Even the hours are different. I love poutine. I love the fact that you guys put maple syrup in everything, even bacon. Um, I don't know, I just, it, there are so many things that I like and it's just so hard to say something specific, I guess. I love how you guys actually do stuff after school, like you have like sport teams and you go quadding and you go do all that kind of stuff. Living in a community, you have to better that community and uh, being a part of Rotary is my way of giving back to uh, the community I live and then also uh, the world at large. We're going to have a rotary forest somewhere in this area and uh, you can go online and uh, find out more about the rotary forest.